joins us now from Manchester, New Hampshire. Governor Bush, thanks for joining us this morning. We just showed that tweet from your campaign manager. Is that what you think, that Donald Trump is a one-man mission to kill the GOP? I think I think Donald Trump is uh, trying to insult his way to the presidency. and It's not going to work. People want an uplifting, hopeful message. People come to this country to pursue their dreams. Sometimes they start without speaking English, but they they learn English and they add vitality to our to our country. And um, say you only can speak English is kind of ridiculous if you think about it. Are we going to close all the foreign language classes? Is he? Why would he have uh, a contract with Univision for his beauty pageant? I mean, this is a diverse country. We should we should celebrate that diversity and embrace a set of shared values. And Mr. Trump doesn't believe in those shared values. He wants to tear us down. He doesn't believe in tolerance. He doesn't believe in the things that have created the greatness of this country. Hey, you know, this is also personal for you. Of course, your wife Columba uh, comes from Mexico. What was your first thought when you heard him criticize you for speaking Spanish? <laughs> I laughed. I mean, this is a joke. I was in a in a in a, uh, in a press gaggle where people asked me a question in Spanish, and I answered it in Spanish. Um, I was in a classroom yes, two days ago, La Progresiva High School, where these young, beautiful kids all speak English, but they also speak Spanish, and one of them asked me a, a question in Spanish. I answered it. That's the reality of America. That's the goodness of America. That's the kind of America we want. So part of it is you'd laugh because it's so bizarre, but it's hurtful for a lot of people, and Mr. Trump knows this. He's appealing to people's angst and their fears rather than their higher hopes. Well, you, he's also called you low energy, a stiff, says you're a joke on immigration. The last thing we need is another Bush. Why do you think he's out to get you? I think he's out to get everybody. He, he doesn't have a set of plans. If he had to actually do the traditional thing, which is here's my policy as it relates to immigration, his policy is, is uh, not serious. It would cost hundreds of billions of dollars. It's probably unconstitutional. It violates civil liberties. If he had to actually debate the points on taxes and regulation, people would be surprised that he is, he is a, uh, a liberal in many of these views. The, the express views he has on taxes, on health care, are, are views that are more closely similar to those of Hillary Clinton. You know, the, the chairman of the RNC, Ryan Spivis, is now circulating a loyalty pledge among all the candidates. Uh, Mr. Trump told me yesterday he'd support you over Hillary Clinton if you get the nomination. Would you support him? <laughs> yeah, I would, of course. Of course no I question. would. We need to be unified. We we need to we need to win, and um, I think I think Mr. Trump is ought to figure out a way to maybe to lessen the the divisive language, the hurtful language, and talk about the aspirations of the American people rather than trying to prey on their fears. There is that Hillary Clinton headline this morning as well. One of her staffers taking the fifth after being subpoenaed to the House Committee. What do you make of that? She hasn't been truthful. Um, she has had a private server hidden from the Obama administration against their rules. Uh, we found out about it because of an FBI investigation. People have uh, paid a heavy price for something similar to what uh, she's done. She should come clean. She should say why she did what she did. Uh, classified information should not be on private servers. In the world we're living in, where she spent most of her time traveling around the world apologizing for the leaks of, that were done by, um, by the Manning episode and the Snowden episode, you know, she should, she should have known that this was completely inappropriate and might be illegal. Final